guys are phenomenal. AJ Styles, and you're watching Red Oak Live. What is going on, guys? Brett Live back with another video, and this is the Week in Review, Episode 7. Here we go, Raw and SmackDown. Decent shows this week. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. And before we do, I just want to pop over here, take a look. We added another bin. For some more excessive, because that, uh, that is not what the video is about. I will probably do another video on that. But yes, this is a week in review, so let's start off over here. Okay, Sami Zayn was about to come out. I'm like, oh, okay, he's just going to diss the crowd again, which he started to. But then Braun Strowman made an appearance. He come out. They brawled, they brawled a bit. Sami Zayn ran away. He ran backstage. And then Braun Strowman caught him in a corner by the garage. And then this is the, close th this is the closest thing I had to a... Um, uh, dumpster so, so yeah he threw Sami Zayn into a dumpster and then of course right when he did that perfect timing uh, the dump truck or the uh, garbage truck come up and then it dumped the garbage which Sami Zayn was inside but yeah uh, pretty funny there but yeah it was just a little obvious because Sami Zayn wasn't obviously in there but yeah whatever it was okay there moving into the arena oh my god I just I don't even want to talk about this I think if you're younger you probably will like laugh at this but I just thought it was just so stupid. I thought it was so, 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 so stupid. Okay, so like the Usos snuck into like, it had to have been like their bathroom or something. The revival, and they put like some sort of like itch cream in like, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I don't know the background on it, but yeah, they put some sort of itch cream on the bodies of them, and then they were like scratching. And it was so childish. Like literally, I don't even think a five-year-old would find that funny. I thought it was so stupid. I just thought it was so stupid. Oh, my God. But, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever, man. Uh, main event of the show, it was Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan right here. Pretty good match. Kofi Kingston obviously picked up the victory, retained his WWE Championship. It was for the title. Uh, Kofi Kingston retained in a pretty decent match. Pretty okay there. We've seen it before. I'm not really the biggest fan of, fan of rematches because if I already saw the match, like, what else are they going to deliver that I already saw? But, yeah, pretty decent. Decent match right there. Kofi Kingston ended up retaining. Uh, Zach Ryder and Kurt Hawkins went up against the Viking Raiders. Or the Viking Experience. Or the War, War Raiders. Or Ron Eric. Or Rowan Hansen. But yeah, uh, they went up against uh, the Viking Raiders. And they did pick up a loss. Uh, and yeah, I don't really like the Viking Raiders as heels. I really loved them as face. Because they went like, war, war, war. I loved them as faces, man. Not really the biggest fan of them heels so far. Because they don't really get a good crowd reaction. In NXT, you should have heard the crowd when they were, like had matches. They were amazing. Oh, not really the biggest fan of Zack Ryan and Kurt Hawkins as Raw Tag Team Champions. I think, yeah, they, they don't deserve it, to be honest. Uh, basically a repeat again. Excuse me. It was... Uh, it was a match. Lacey Evans versus some local competitor. Nobody knew who she was. Uh, and then she had Alexa Bliss, Dana Brooke, Naomi... And, uh, somebody else, like, some people in the Money in the Bank match had, uh, were watching on ringside as Lacey Evans beat the crap out of this local person, and then, uh, Becky Lynch come out and tried to take a, um, uh, that's not, again, that's not intended to be Maurice, that's supposed to be, uh, Lacey Evans. Uh, Becky Lynch did take out Lacey Evans, barely. Lacey Evans did, did get away. Uh, another stupid part of the show, um, yeah, No Way Jose was supposed to have a match, or I don't even know what he was doing. He wasn't even scheduled for a match, I don't think. And he just come out with his conga line and just got crushed by Lars Sullivan. I don't like Lars Sullivan. I don't like No Way Jose. I think both characters are absolutely stupid. Uh, yeah, just not a big fan of uh, Lars Sullivan. I don't like how he comes out. I don't like the guy. I don't like the character. I don't like how he just comes out every week and just crushes everybody. I don't like that. Uh, Seth Rollins and AJ Styles versus Bab Bobby Lashley and Baron Corbin in a tag team match. Yes, Seth Rollins and AJ Styles were on a team. This was probably the best match of the night up until Corbin moved out of the way and AJ Styles had a phenomenal form on, on Seth Rollins. Intentionally or non-intentional? Comment down below. What do you guys think? Uh, I think it was intentional because AJ Styles did um, walk out of the match and then Seth Rollins did end up losing by himself. But yeah, it was pretty decent there up to the end. Just very disappointing ending. Not intended to be Rick. Not intended to be Apollo Crews. Supposed to be Ricochet. Ricochet put his opportunity for the Money in the Bank briefcase match on the line against Robert Roode, and he did pick up the victory with a 6:30 from. Oh uh, yeah, 6:30 from the top rope, which was pretty freaking crazy. Uh, Elias 
took out Roman Reigns. I think he was with, yeah, he was with Shane McMahon, Elias, Bobby Lashley. They all took out Roman Reigns. Uh, yeah, and Shane McMahon was out there. And then, this is nothing compared to what happened backstage. We're going to get there. Right, boom, right here. It started with a beatdown on Roman Reigns. Miz come out, not not to like save Roman Reigns, but to get Shane McMahon. He chased him backstage. He, and then Shane's like, oh, I got away, I got away. And he was about to hop in his limo. And then Miz come out of nowhere with a chair and nailed him right in the back. I love this. It was one of my favorite parts of the show. Absolutely amazing. But yeah, most of the show is pretty bullcrap, not going to lie. But yeah, um, that was pretty good. I love that. He attacked Shane, and then Shane ended up getting away. But yeah, if I had to choose the most... This is really one of the... Yeah, if you're young, I think I see this being funny. I just thought it was so stupid. Comment down below. If you guys thought this was funny, I just thought it was so freaking dumb. Oh my god, I can't get over it. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys thought about Raw in the comments down below. Now we're going to get into SmackDown Live. SmackDown Live, the house that AJ Styles built. Here we go. It's SmackDown Live right now. Starting it off, we're going to go over here. It was Carmella and Ember Moon versus Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Pretty decent match. They put on a heck of a match here, uh, especially Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose did end up getting the pinfall. She pinned Ember Moon to get the win. Of course, trying to make Mandy Rose look good going into Money in the Bank because, of course, she's in the match. And she is pr she is a high pick for me. I honestly think Mandy Rose is going to pick up the victory and get the briefcase. I honestly think she's going to win the match. But yeah, Carmella and uh, Ember Moon did pick up the loss over... Um, and be, not <laughs> Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville did pick up the win. Uh, moving over here, absolutely amazing. Okay, Andrade San Almas versus Mustafa Ali. They're putting on a heck of a match. I was like, oh dang, this is getting pretty good. And then Randy Orton out of nowhere. Randy Orton literally comes out of nowhere. Mustafa Ali started to put up a fight. He's like, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. And then Randy Orton hit a wicked. He like threw him up in the air, and then he hit a wicked RK on Mustafa Ali. And then Andrade, uh, Andrade San Almas went for a springboard, whatever. We never got to see it because Randy Orton hit a wicked RKO. If you guys can see, Andrade Cien almost looks like he's freaking twisted and maimed because that was like one of the most wicked RKOs. Aside from Evan Bourne doing like the airborne from the top rope, that's my favorite RKO of all time. But yes, this was pretty insane. Uh, moving over here, Shane McMahon. He was talking about uh, the titles. He would, no, not the titles. He was talking about the briefcases, and he's like, okay. He never got to finish what he was going to say about the briefcases because Miz finally got his revenge. Because on Raw, of course, Shane McMahon escaped and got in his limo and got away. Uh, Miz tried to get some revenge, but then Shane McMahon had the B team. The former Miz Taraj, which is kind of funny. Uh, Bo Dallas and Garden Saxon, that's kind of funny because they're the former Miz Taraj. Uh, but yeah, the B team helped out Shane, and then Shane got the upper hand on Miz once again, man. So yeah, I cannot wait for the Steel Cage match at Money in the Bank. That should be freaking amazing. Cannot wait. Check it out. It's coming, of course, at Money in the Bank. And CM Punk did return. It is absolutely insane. He returned right when Greg Hamill... I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can already see you guys scrolling down the comments. CM Punk didn't return. I'm just joking. But yes, I just thought it would be funny to just throw CM Punk up there. Because I want it to happen. I want Greg Hamilton to be like, introducing the best in the world. And then CM Punk music's hit. That would be freaking awesome. I would love that. But yeah, I, I doubt that'll ever happen. Main event of the show, we have Kofi King. Kingston versus AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn, all for the WWE Championship in a triple threat match. Absolutely stunning match. In the end, uh, Sami Zayn hit three, three blue thunder bombs on Kofi Kingston, and Kofi Kingston managed to kick out of all of them. Absolutely amazing. I absolutely loved it. AJ Styles didn't have really a big part in this match. It was mainly Sami Zayn and Kofi Kingston, uh, mainly to the end of the match. But yeah, Kofi Kingston did pick up the victory. Of course, because AJ Styles and Sami Zayn are on Raw, it wouldn't make sense for them to to get the WWE Championship. But yeah, a uh, pretty great match. Love how Kofi Kingston come out on top, and he puts on some great matches, man. Love that. Over here, since Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy are, had to relinquish the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, we had a match here. First, Shane was just gonna give the titles to Eric Rowan and Daniel Bryan, but then the Usos come out and he's and they're like, "Hey, you're just giving away the titles like that. We gotta work for him." So then they had a match. Eric Rowan and Daniel Bryan did prove that. They they could hold the titles. They beat the Usos, and this was one of my favorite moments. Daniel Bryan was running to take out Jey Uso, and then Jimmy hit a wicked super kick, knocking off Daniel Bryan and intercepting the takedown. But then Eric Rowan come up from behind and picked up the victory for the team. And I'm really happy. 
Uh, I mean, again, because the Usos are on Raw, just like Sami Zayn and AJ Styles were on Raw, so they can't hold the SmackDown Tag Team titles if they're on Raw. And Daniel Bryan also said in an interview backstage, let's go fix these titles. So I see them redesigning the titles like he did with the WWE Championship, so pretty interested to see what's going to happen there. Oh, and I forgot to mention over here, uh, Kevin Owens also tried to distract uh, in that match. Nothing really big with Kevin Owens, but yes, he did try to distract. And again, uh, Eric Rowan and Daniel Bryan did pick up the win, and they are the tag championships. And don't worry, guys. I'm just kidding. Sami Zayn. No, CM Punk did not return. Trust me. Uh, moving last thing back here. Uh, it is, yeah, our truth did get put through a table. And Matt Hardy got sent through a freaking bathroom door. And it was absolutely amazing. Uh, Lars Sullivan, yet again, destroying Matt Hardy and R-Truth, which is getting kind of old. Uh, you know, not really the biggest fan of it anymore. At first, I'm like, oh, dang, this is pretty cool. But now it's just getting a little old. But yeah, Matt, uh, R-Truth got put through a table. Matt Hardy got sent through a bathroom door. And yeah, Lars Sullivan just basically obliterated them. But yes, guys, this has been Odell Live. Say hi. Oh, hey, everybody. Yeah, what do you think about SmackDown Live? Yeah, it was okay. It was better than Raw. Yeah, it Raw was better sucks. than Raw. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys. If I'm rating, if I'm rating both shows, shows in the end, I would have to give Raw a solid four out of ten. <laughs> One being the worst, ten being the best. And for SmackDown, I would give it a solid eight out of ten. I thought it was freaking amazing. I would even give it a nine. They had some pretty good matches, but some of the stuff was weak. I thought Shane and Miz was kind of weak, and I thought Mandy Rose and whatever that match was kind of weak. And yes, CM Punk did not return. I was just kidding. But yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed this week in review, episode seven. And I'll see you guys next time. Brutal Live. Out.